Welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer channel. And here we got another season game, a Tecmo Bowl throwback. This will be the last game for this season as far as regular season. I'm facing Tommy right now. And Tommy right now is 2-1 and one in the league, so he's got two more games to go. And he's been a surprise. He was a late addition to the league. Didn't know what he could do, but he ended up beating a couple guys that I played before. So we'll see what he's got. He's using the San Diego Chargers. Their playbook, their playbook's not too great. But I'm not that familiar with defending these plays often as I guess the first one. He's got a few passing plays he could use to his advantage. I don't like his run plays. So juke me out a little bit right there. And tonight is fall back on the clocks, at least for a central time zone. I know some areas don't actually do that, so it's perceived as an extra hour of sleep if you have things to do tomorrow on Sunday. So Tommy moves the ball well so far. There he tries it up the middle and it's stuffed. So if you're watching, let us know in the chat. So I'm manning Eric Allen here. He goes for the reverse. And a few jukes, maybe gained a yard on it. Tommy seems to have some natural talent. And there he hits the open guy. And pretty sure I selected a pass play defensively, but got terrible coverage. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. And he got help on the the block. I read the play correctly. Just went to out tap him. But he got help, but he couldn't get anywhere. So man and joiner on this one. This is guaranteed pass play. No one's in the backfield. And the defense gets there just in the nick of time. So here we go, another third down. Tommy's been good on third down so far in this game. Yes, pass. He's still got guys wide open. Eight yard gain. We'll see what he does here. Fourth down and two. And it looks like he's going to decide to go for it. Uh, what would he do? See, I don't know. He's been killing me with that one play. Fourth down and two. And he does run it up the middle and he gets the first down. Good play call. That was one of the ones I was thinking about going to. But it seems a little bit too obvious. First down, he's grinding and up the field, so we're just looking for something big to happen on my end. But it's not happening so far. Finally get him on this play. He does a good job scrambling. It is a sack, but he only loses a yard or two. man Eric Allen up because I did call the run up which I do guess 
So I'm getting a little bit of a hang of his play calling since it's been such a long drive. And if now gets two plays in a row. And he's running up again. Good call by him. Defense. Gets there before he gets the first down, but it's another short one if he wants to go for it. Fourth and five. But here he's in pretty good field goal position. And he's going to do that. Looks straight. Good drive by Tommy to start the game. He's really maximizes. John Carney is the guy who kicks it. Really maximizes the potential of the, the playbook he has. Even ran the reverse. All right, so now it's Randall time. Randall Cunningham taking over center. I'm 3-0-1 with the Philadelphia Eagles. So basically we're just playing a round robin for this season, and then we're going to head into the playoffs. First down. Big gain. Guy wide open in the middle of the field. And next time I play a game, we should have the webcam back. And he guesses the play. Whew, Randall throws an interception. Not likely for him to do with his high pass control, but... You know, I've gotten away with just throwing balls like that up. So now I need to play some defense. He drains so much clock on that first drive. So he's going four wide and he is passing. He's just gonna run with the quarterback. Third down and six. In this game, you can drain a lot of clock on these drives. Oh, man. Fooled me on the reverse. First down. Gets the first down. Poor defense there. I was just kind of stuck in no man's land. That one's going to hurt because now he's going to drain the clock even more. This one I know is a pass. No one to the backfield. Brought a little bit of heat, and he catches it in double coverage. Brown, 52. This is going to be big for me to stop him to a field goal. It's getting to the point now where in this particular game, it's going to be hard to drive down the field with this much time left. Oh, he busts through some tacklers. What is going on? So, yeah, now it just comes down to... Here we go. This is probably a run. It is up the middle. He scores a touchdown. I got my work cut out for me. One thing I noticed, it's a little bit harder to play defense from the player two side because it feels like you have some lag, but that was a huge touchdown. I mean, I'm going to have to battle my way back now. Touchback. So the best thing I could do, realistically, is get in the field goal range. Hunt, hunt, hunt. 
stops me for a short gain. Guess it's the play. At least it's not an interception that time. Good job guessing some plays. First down. So there, I just pick up the first down, get out of bounds. Herschel Walker, 50 max speed in this one. Guesses it again. Jeez. What I'm calling the pass plays that can feel can really get down the field for me. He's calling the plays. No one's really that open. Tight end is down low. And at this point, my chances of scoring are almost zero. It's no long JJ's in this one. Guess is the obvious play. And for three seconds left, I think I'll just go for it. That time will tick off. We do have someone wide open. Kelvin Williams, and I just can't get the zig and zag going. He's too slow. 10 nothing, good half. So he's being kind of aggressive defensively. We'll see if I can take advantage of that. His first drive was key. He, he got a field goal, but he wasted so much time. And then he got that interception on a called play. And that's pretty much what it comes down to. I'm having trouble stopping the run. Just the movements are a little bit off for me defensively. So here I got to come up big. And try to get a W. So this drive really need to score no matter what. Doesn't have to be a touchdown, but I have to score on this drive. The defense is there. There was nothing up top on that one. So he must have guessed a run play. Get a big chunk, just dump off to Herschel Walker, get 15 yards. It's go time now for Randall. There's no one deep. He throws it. It is a catch. A little bit more speed on this side, and Fred Barnett is in for the touchdown. That's exactly what I needed. Quick score. Now I could put pressure on him defensively. This one might be a miss, though. And that's going to mean I'm going to have to uh, score a touchdown again. Bad onside kick. Didn't really want to put him in that good of a position. So things not going perfectly to plan in this one, but a touchdown on the board is big. So he tries the reverse again. That time, me cutting off the outside 
gets him back on the inside and uh, my drones make the tackle. And he seems to be out tapping me here. His run game has been strong. I really have to start respecting it. And stop him just short. We'll see if he goes for the field goal, if he goes for it. go either way this is a crucial play in the game he went for it in the first half on fourth down got it gets the play and there's the big stop so he went back to the well the run up the middle and that time I was having none of it Catching on to me using this play against him. It's been successful. Threw a bomb on it last time. But we're still only in the third quarter. And got some running room outside. A blazing fast defender comes though. And stops me short of what I would have liked to get on that play. Open wide open in the middle. He's going to get hit. Holds on to the ball. First down. Eagles. center just running the ball there was ton of tons of running room might as well take it he's using a defensive lineman Herschel Walker with a big game And I'm going to get a playoff before the end of the third quarter here. Every time I've called this play, he's called it, so... It's definitely not helping. Second down, 17. Gonna get some chunks of yards. Handle under center. Incomplete. I, oh, I don't know how that was incomplete. Short pass incomplete to the middle. Wide open, Kelvin Williams. He was a little bit short on the throw. That could have been costly, but makes it first down. Huge play for the Eagles. So he's sticking with that defensive player again. Herschel Walker runs outside, gets in the end zone. Eagles take the lead, 12-10 right now. The extra points, no gimme, as you saw on the last one. But come back from 10-0, now I gotta play some defense. I think that one should be good, and it is. So, three point lead, that missed field goal made this one a little bit more interesting because now he just needs to get in the field goal range to force overtime. You're not taking any chances with a short kick. And he doesn't get back to the 20, so it is the right decision. 
We'll see if he tries to open up the passing game or if he's going to stick with the run. The run's been what's strongest for him here. This is a pass. And he pretty much just hits him quick wide open. Good play there. Here he comes back to the run. Don't get the drone help as fast as I would have liked it. But in the end, it works out all right. Six-yard gain. His joiner, he is passing. Big defensive play there by the DB. He was open, but he was just in the passing lane. This one is probably going to be a pass. Oh no, he's going to the run. Four yard gain. It is fourth and one. He is going to go for it. I stopped him last time. I don't think he's going to pass. We'll see what he does. Reverse, and he's just short. Bold call there. I thought he might have had it. I was out of position. Sherman running the ball up. Randall under center. He's blitzing now. Fred Barnett, though, has some speed, gets it, and that's going to put away the game. The tail of two halves in this one. Tommy dominates the first half 10 0, but Eagles and my team come back strong now. 20 to, to 10. 20 nothing run here in the second half. Was impressed with uh, Tommy's skill in this one, though. Came out strong. His run game was a problem most of the time. He didn't make the fourth down conversions in the second half and that's really what is would cost him this game he was right there I mean he makes those and we're talking a different ball game right now made the quick reads on throws that played nobody was open but yeah he's probably just gonna end this game throwing up a few few plays few throws no, he's going back to the run. 54 seconds left. Well, Tommy's going to fall f to 2-2, two and two, but in this playoffs, he's he's a guy I wouldn't want to see until a Super Bowl because he's, he's, he's the kind of guy that can knock you off. So that is a catch. That one looks weird on the screen. And when you get down like this in Tecmo Bowl throwback, it's just you can't score that quick because you can't just throw the full field bomb. And you, you gotta you gotta earn earn it up the field. The best way to score quick in this game is to have elite speed. But there's only a few guys that have the 69 max speed and that's uh Barry Sanders and Thurman Thomas. So 2010 is the final Eagles over Chargers. Hail of two halves. 
Randall Cunningham gets it done in the second after throwing that errant pick. Good game by Tommy. Thanks for watching this. We're going to be back soon with some playoffs. So when you see these get posted on YouTube, you definitely want to check them out. They're going to be intense. Uh, winner of the league is going to get a t-shirt, a Tecmo t-shirt. I'm going to send it to him. So we'll see what happens. We got so a few more players interested in playing in the next league. So basically we're just going to do round robin uh, and then have a playoffs after that. So thanks for watching. Good game, Tommy. Take care. Have a good one. We'll see you next time for the Tecmo Bowl Throwback the League.